Good afternoon, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Escambia County Sheriff David Morgan. We'll get to the tough question first. Number one, honored to be here, honored to have been your sheriff for almost seven going on eight years now. Uh, lived here 22 years, bachelor's degree in criminal justice, master's degree in business administration. And I'm going to answer the tough question first. You know, got the folks here all videotaping. You know what the videotaping's for, don't you? That's to infuse more hypocrisy in politics in our country. Because we take videotapes and we edit them and we parse words. So that encourages candidates to never take a position on anything because we know that their words will be parsed. For those of you that know me, I could care less about that. <laughs> could care less about that. So we're going to go straight at you with a hard question. Why am I running for a third term when I said I did not want a third term? I think it's very appropriate tonight that Dwayne Escobedo is here. Dwayne covered my very first campaign get together over at Franco's restaurant after I pre-filed a run in 2008. I started that interview with I am a reluctant candidate. I have no desire to be in political office. No desire. I contacted John Powell and Doyle Thomas and asked both of them, if you will run for sheriff, I will support you. I do not want to run for sheriff. Both declined and said they would support me. And so I ran. So let's talk a little bit about the history of the Escambia County Sheriff's Office during my administration. And I will ask some of you, where were you? Where were you? when the candidate with $53,000 was facing a political machine with almost a quarter of a million dollars. Three deaths in the jail ruled homicides. Homicides. And where was your voice? Where was your voice? All of you that were sworn officers that carried the badge. Where was your voice? I'll tell you where my voice was. On the street with a core group of supporters saying this is wrong. This is not who we are in Escambia County. And so my third day in office, we were put under investigation by the Department of Justice. And we cleared up all of those issues. During my administration, we've given back over a million dollars to our community from drug forfeiture funds. To Big Brothers and Big Sisters and Pace Center for Girls. <laughs> and A.A. A. Dixon Alternative School. Where were you when I was speaking and walking with Mr. Leroy Boyd from Movement for Change? when we stood against the most powerful political machine in Northwest Florida. Where were you? So now the race is won. The race is won. And we want to turn back the clock to the way we did it before. We even have one opponent who brought us that very investigation. And now everybody wants to get in the parade. Because the victory parade is now, isn't it? Because the war is won. Where were you when the battle was being fought? And where was your voice? I'll tell you where my voice was. On the street, calling it what it was. Now you're talking to a Missouri boy. I got a name for people like that from Missouri. It's a phrase we use. Said that man's all hat and no ass. Okay. And at this particular time in our country, we need more than cowards behind keyboards to change the course not only of our community, but of our nation. Stay the course. Stay the course. I got the crime stats. You hear all this yada yada in the background about how bad things are. I'll tell you things are great and they're coming down. <coughs> Stand with me. The fight's not over. Thank you.